Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, it is Ida's Tony. And sorry if I'm not super loud, it's a little late right now. It's about almost 11 o'clock at night. Let me adjust my camera. So I wanted to come on here and make an update video. I feel like I have not updated you guys on in so much stuff. I have so much stuff to really talk about that I am just gonna be as open and as honest as I can. I'm not gonna make, I'm gonna try to talk about everything. Um, so hopefully I can make it through this video. But if not, um, I will make another part to this video. And I just wanted to talk, talk about things that have been on my mind lately and about my transition and things like things of that nature because I get a lot of your messages and I try to respond or think about what to say to all of you. And I wanted to be very transparent and tell you guys the truth um, and tell you what it's really been like for me so far. And by for starters, I know that a lot of you guys always ask about starters. I know that a lot of you guys always ask about the chest size. Honestly, guys, my chest size has grown to be a really decent size. Of course, I am curvier, so I know I've always had a little bit of something. But for the most part, if you are a push-up process, they're like up here. I am currently a 38C. Um, they had measured me at a 34D, but a D was like an, a 38D. But that was almost too big where like the cup was huge. I probably could even go smaller because I feel like this th if i really want them up here i'd have to go smaller like cup wise if that makes sense so that's that um for the most part like that's that um but for the most part they don't hurt anymore i haven't lactated in a long long time um i don't get that little ball that I, you know you would get right when you start getting your boobs like that it's gone now i think they're at a point i'm looking in the mirror i'm looking in the mirror just to look I think they're at a point where they're just they're there and i'm honest you guys i'm happy with what i have very very extremely happy very very blessed of course they could be up here but that would be like a full-on like boob job if they were up here um but overall we're very happy with that um moving on emotional wise emotions always tend to run wild i feel like being on hormones the the chemicals in the the, the medicine make you get very emotional, very moody, very fatigued and stuff like that. Those are things that I feel like are kind of common. And the way that I battle feeling fatigued or feeling down is I try to keep myself busy in the sense of like, I try to go to the gym. I try to keep myself, even if it's only like 30 minutes of cardio, which I'm trying to push myself to do more um, in every at the gym all the time. It's like keeping that routine for yourself to make yourself feel good. Um, because endorsements make you happy. <laughs> but going to the gym um, is something that is very, very, like, I'm really trying to keep myself going every day. Like I said, even if it's 30 minutes cardio, just get yourself on a routine. Um, I'm trying to get back in with a trainer, which I probably think I am. I'm just going to, as soon as my gym membership expires, I'm going to get another gym membership. Um, that's one thing that I would say. Also trying to eat really clean. Um, I know I get my moments where I eat like trash, which is really bad for you. But there's days when I try to eat really, really healthy. Um, I also am a big fan of getting green juices. I feel like that really makes my system feel nice and clean and detox. Also making detoxing water and just carrying with me. I will be honest, you guys, I feel like I've been lacking it on water and I've noticed because I've been getting headaches and I tend to get headaches, sorry, I tend to get headaches a lot more so when I am dehydrated and the spirolactone and the estrogen can get you very dehydrated. So just remember to drink a lot of water. Like after this, I probably will go get a nice little bottle of water or something just so that I can stay hydrated. Um, I still feel like crazy as soon as I take my pills. That does not change. <laughs> still feel like a crazy person um update on body fat distribution i feel like my butt is a little bit bigger but i wouldn't say it's where i want it to be i do feel like i'm a little more curved out but i will say that the hormones can only do so much they can't completely change everything i, I think that it molds your body a little bit but you have to almost mold it yourself and kind of like keep your body on check so that's one thing um my voice, I feel like it has gotten a little bit lighter. I would not say that that hormones completely changes your voice. I feel like lately I've been trying to get more of a higher pitch voice or maybe speak a little bit slower. Not so much like this because that's kind of how I normally speak. So I'm trying to get a little bit more in this like 
relaxed voice a little bit higher a little bit softer i'm still working on it guys it's, it's something that i literally just started to really practice i've been watching a lot of videos and i feel like i need to really make it a routine that's another thing i'm trying to get on a routine of just trying to get um my practicing for my voice and stuff because that is something that i feel like is very clockable um but that's just for me another thing that i wanted to say is my skin body hair i know a lot of y'all ask a lot about body hair i would not say that it removes all your body hair sorry guys there's a piece of hair that's bothering me right there i would not say that hrt gets rid of your body hair completely i will say that it lightens it and it thins it out a little bit i don't think you guys can even see it but maybe you can you guys see the body hair right there like oh yeah. i normally i don't even shave it i literally leave it as, as leave it as is because the moment that i shave it it comes in a lot thicker and pricklier so i just let it be the same with my legs if i just let my legs my leg hair grow out within like a month it's like literally so soft it feels like fine baby hair at least for me i was never super super hairy either underarm hair i would say it doesn't come in as much as i used to facial hair it's weird my facial hair for at the beginning of the hormones completely dwindled a lot and by dwindled, I mean like I would shave because I just wanted a close shave, but it wasn't like as thick or as coarse. But lately, I feel like I've been getting more of a five o'clock shadow and, and I'm at the point where like I'm ready to go get laser hair removal. She saved up her money. Um, I called the laser hair removal place that I used to go to, make sure that the nurse that I used to go to is still there and she is. So I'm going to go back to her. I'm excited if you guys want me to bring you along or have questions about the laser hair removal let me know maybe i can bring you guys with me um because i haven't been there in two years so it's been quite some time i think we are ready for um a little laser hair removal another thing that i wanted to talk with you guys about is one question that i get asked from a lot of you and this is a question that i ask myself too all the time and this question is how do i get the guts to go out in public like this i'm gonna be very honest with you guys it scares the shit out of me every single day every single time that i go out why i don't know i think that's one of my biggest fears my biggest fear in life you guys is fear itself i'm scared that somebody's gonna clock me that somebody's gonna be like that's a man um you know obviously kids stare you know but sometimes i just smile and sometimes when you just smile they just kind of like walk away and the best way that i tell my friends is that everybody in this world has an, someone who's a little more special in their life so how would that person feel if we stared at their special person in a weird way? I'm sure they wouldn't like it. So that's why I tell my friends, you know, just smile. But um, I have another, another confession that I wanted to share with you guys is that I feel like for me, my transition just started. I know that I've been on hormones for over a year and like five months or five or six months. And I feel like for me, the first year I was very in the closet, meaning I didn't tell anybody that I was taking hormones for a year, no, for eight months. Um, and then it took me another four or five months to really start stepping into my womanhood and really feeling like myself. Because when I was still taking hormones back then, I was still kind of dressed like a boy, like I wore my makeup, but I wouldn't really try to leaning toward the femininity side like I do now like now I get my nails done and I know it's not just about the makeup and stuff it's honestly it's internally what you feel in your heart and in your soul but of course we want to feel like our outside matches our inside um and I will say that for me the past six months have been me trying to push myself a little bit more and really live in my truth and I feel like right now I am currently living my life in a very 60 to 40 ratio meaning 60 percent of the time I or 50 50 like 50% of the time I'm like Tony the woman the transgender woman and then the other person I'm like this just like I'm wearing makeup it's super basic I haven't even tried and the reason why is because I felt doubted myself of rejection that I was never good enough and what I've done for myself is that I decided to start taking therapy and I've been in therapy for the past three or four months I want to say three months and it's helped me challenge certain things and really face certain issues face on that I wasn't dealing with in the past 
Um, and one thing that I love that somebody says in my group in my group therapy and my therapist say, you got to put your tranny panties on and just fucking go for it. That's why when we look at all these women out there that are so confident when they're trans, that they're just out there doing it, they put those tranny panties on. I know that sounds really bad, but that's what she said, those trans panties on. And we're not we're not here using the word in a malicious way. We're using it in an empowering way. Putting those panties on and just being like, fuck it. Like drinking your spinach and just going, fuck it, this is who I am. And you are going to respect me. And this is what it is. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I've really been pushing myself to go more and really step into that. And I feel like I've been lacking sharing this part of me with all of my family. I share it with my mom and dad here and there, but I don't share it with all of my family. And I think that that's unfair to them and it's unfair to myself because I'm almost judging them for not feeling being 100% there for me but at the same time I'm not giving them 100% me so how can you expect somebody to pass when you haven't even taught them anything like a test you know I know that's a weird way to look at it but that's just how I've been feeling lately so to all my sisters out there that feel this way it's it takes time you know it takes time to feel comfortable in your body um and you we are going through a second period and or not a second period but like a second um what do you what do you call it puberty and when you when i look back at me being 13 and stuff like that i was insecure then you know what i mean it took me a long time to really love who i was and that's where i am right now i'm love i'm learning to love this person and everything that this person has to offer but it just takes time and honestly i think sometimes you just gotta go for it and if somebody misgenders you the best advice that i've learned recently is don't get mad and start being like, you're fucking transphobic. No. Just tell them, hey, you know what? I like to be called she, her, hers. Or if you are female to male, I like to be called blah, 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 blah. Just let them know. Um, and if they choose to still be nasty, then that's on them. You don't have to interact with them. Peace out. Um, and that's one thing that like has been hard for me to say it because I felt like I had shame. I better not start crying. I felt like I was shameful of who I was. You know, you guys have to remember that everybody's gone through different things in their life. Some people may feel more comfortable in their body. Some people may have family that are 100% backing them up. Some people don't, and that's okay um, as well. You just have to find it within you to be like, I'm ready to step into my life. And that's where I'm at right now. Where I'm at the point where like, I'm ready to step into this life into my womanhood. And let me tell you guys, it has been a fun ride. It has been a scary ride. Um, don't yuck other people's yum or don't downput other people's what they like or who they are just because you may feel uncomfortable. Maybe you're feeling making them feel uncomfortable by, by who you are, but they're not going out of the way to make you feel out of place. So just remember guys that we live in a world that, that can be horrible. So try to just lend a smile and be happy, you know, and embrace everybody else and make somebody else feel good for a moment you know but that is it y'all i know this video is kind of all over the place i i'm trying to be very transparent with you guys and open about everything that we're going through and hopefully if you can relate you can let me know down below um to all my trans sisters out there just know that you are loved be, be know that you are loved know that you are worth it know that we are beautiful know that we are strong and know that you are meant to be here and be safe out there with whatever you're doing always let people know what you're up to that you're being safe be safe and with all that said i'll talk to you guys later